Oi Kirby fans and welcome to another episode of Kirby Enthusiast. Um, for those of you new to the channel, make sure you slap that like, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell so you don't miss any more upcoming episodes. There's plenty of content being uploaded every week. So yeah, again, go and slap that like subscribe button right now. Hi Kirby fans and welcome back to another episode of Kirby Enthusiast. What's happened recently is I've got a G4 from 1995 and um, the tech drive is just going forward. I've adjusted the pivot on it and it's still, yeah, I don't know why. I think it's just packed up. So what I did, because I couldn't be able to investigate it, I will investigate it as we, as we open it up, but um, I just bought a new tech drive. Um, obviously it's a cent uh, not Centria, it's a, a new Avalair one. Um, it's got the Avalair wheels, and it comes with the Avalair wheels, comes with a drive switch as well. Um, I'll be ta all I'll do is I'll change the drive switch, put the G4 one back on there, um, so it's original. The wheels are, are dark anyway, so I think that it could do with some new wheels. I did really put some second hand wheels on it um, last year, but yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So welcome back. So what we've got is a G4. Um, so we're gonna start taking it apart and I'll quickly show you how to change the tech drive in it. We're going to fit a new belt as well. Um, most of the screws in this, so let's get to it. Now we can leave the lead attached, don't need to take the lead off. So I'll just take this cover off first. It's literally a 10 minute job if that. Um, Slide. Right, I've had to break out the big guns. So. 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 Right, so here's the issue. It's going to be loud. Let's just move that lead. Okay, so we'll put it in drive. Uh, we'll turn her on. I don't even see the wheel spin. But we'll turn her aside. So you can. So as you can see, it's not going in reverse, it's just going forward. So that's what we're going to change. And what I might do is I might update the pivot switch to a later version at the same time. Okay, so let's get back to the table. So welcome back, people. So as you can see, it was just going forward but not back. Um, so yeah, we're going to replace the tech drive. I'm going to fit a new belt because um, I say it's 25 years old. Um, and we're going to play, replace the pivot switch as well, just in case. So, um, my supplier sent me some belts, and he also sent me a new one of those. Um, obviously, I won't be changing that because I don't think that's the problem at all. Um, and basically, we've got a brand spanking new 
tech drive anyway, so you might as well just throw all that in in one hit. Okay, so let's get to it. One, two, three screws. Okay, I'm using the cordless because it'll make it a bit quicker. If it actually fits, and those are torque screws. So, my torque's 20. I forgot not everything was Phillips on the uh, G4. And we'll see how that drive selector switch is going as well. Um, but I want to hold, hold on to the original. I mean, I see a lot of things on YouTube where their drive selectors are packed up. I, I don't know how. Um, whether they're heavy footed or what. I mean, this drive selector's never popped out. So I really don't see what's causing that problem. I know they're pressed on, All right? So make sure she's in drive. She'll drop out. Put the belt off. Oh, helps to take the switch out actually. So you have to take the switch out. Oh, so always forget that one. Drop her out, and out she comes. I only serviced this um, about two months ago, and, uh, and then obviously the tech drive's packed up. So. It doesn't seem anything like select selector switch. We'll take it out. Is that Phillips? Yep, Phillips. Grease is on. So there's no, as you can see, there's no movement at all in that. It hasn't separated from the press. It's as it was at the factory, so that's done pretty well for 24 years. So let's just sit that to one side. Put that on there because it's greasy. Right, it's going to let me towel mate. I'm going to have to get the wash. Try not to get any grease on here. I'm going to get the towel down because we've got a marble table and this is kill. This is to kill me. Okay, so we'll take the selector switch out. that either. This one should be freshly greased, so I'll take that out. Let's drive to get it out, and there's the new one, so we might as well keep the new one. And I'll put the original back in there. So again, pop that in there. Like so, keep it in drive, and just pop that back in. as we'll put the new torque screw back in the bottom and tighten that one back up. And that is a tech drive. Right, so let's have a look at this belt, see if it's actually stretched. There is no adjustment on these belts. So Actual tension. Get cancer stickers on everything when you buy everything from the States. So let's have a look at the belt. It looks not stretched. Sounds a little bit dried out. It's definitely dried out, but you know, it's done well for 25 years. So, put the new belt on. And this is exactly the same on your Centrioge Avalanche, exactly the same to change. So, all we'll do is pop that back in dry, drop that through, drop our belt over. Oops. 
very fiddly. Over there. Like I say, there's no tension on these belts whatsoever. Flip her over. Put our three torque screws back in. Okay, so I mean, it's quite worth it um, changing it because you know I'm getting. New wheels with it as well. If I was to buy new wheels and then buy the tech rod on top, it'd be more expensive. Um, so all I have to do is nip the caps off the old version. So the, I mean, these are quite cheap to fix. As you know, Kirby's will run forever and ever. I mean, in 25 years, I've only changed the tech drive now, about three months ago. Changed the toe touch control, updated that because it kept slipping. But other than that, she's fine. So we'll fit a new one of these as well. Okay, so a little bit different. So that's the old style, and these this is an Avalair one. So it's grey, so it'll match. And we'll just put that on there. So that should slot on there, which it does. And we'll just put those bolts back in. And again, we'll set it up central. So, turn on that loosely. I'll have to slack it off in a minute. And these are normally set up into the middle, so we'll slack them off now. from putting the lid back on that's the tech drive so let's check it out and see if she works so we're back over to test it and um, I'll put the switch back in which I totally forgot to do while on the table so we'll switch her on so make sure she's in drive we'll switch her on and then we'll push the lever back and forwards so as you can see She's working. Job done. So welcome back Kirby fans. Um, so the old belt will go in the bin. That will throw in the bin as well. Tech drive will go. Just shove out these hub caps. And pop those on. Cups off. Oh, back on. It's dead. Put these in. I'll use a drill. So I'll get this light first. I'm going to go ridiculously tight with these. Otherwise, that, especially with the machine, this hole because I tend to thread. And I've got some two screws in the front. Get them started. And then 
two more to go. So put that back in. Put that back under there. talk um, but yeah literally minutes welcome back um, I hope you enjoy this video it's the end of the video now um, so yeah for those of you who have just discovered this channel make sure you hit that like slap that subscribe button and um, so you don't miss upcoming videos and don't forget to ding that bell um, as I said I've got a bit of competition coming up um, as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers which I'm hoping to do in the next month um, then I'm gonna be running a competition um, some of the people that know me know I've got a lot of Kirby things and there'll be a special prize and a, a specific question that someone's got to answer to win this special prize. Um, so yeah, watch your space and make sure you subscribe. See you later.